Hello, this video will show you how to do nearest neighbor distance analysis in CrimeStat 4 using sample data for Lincoln. ESRI's ArcMap 1022 software will also be used. Open CrimeStat 4 and choose the Data Setup tab and click the Select Files button. Choose Shape File Type, and browse to the Robberies data set. Indicate the columns that contain the X and Y coordinate variables. Set the coordinate system type to match the data set. Click the measurement parameters tab and enter the area and street network length of the jurisdiction. Your GIS software should be able to retrieve these values for you. Set the distance measurement type to direct. Direct distance is more appropriate for calculating distance to the first nearest neighbor. Indirect or network distance is more appropriate for calculating distance to two or more nearest neighbors. Click the Spatial Description tab and select the Distance Analysis 1 subtab. Check the Nearest Neighbor Analysis box. Leave the default settings and click Compute. Crime stat should indicate the expected mean distance between nearest neighbors in a random distribution, and the actual average minimum distance between nearest neighbors. The result is a nearest neighbor index value, and in this case the actual distribution is clustered. A nearest neighbor index score of 1 indicates a random distribution. Scores lower than 1 indicate clustering, and scores higher than 1 indicate dispersion. The p-value indicates a 99.99 .99 confidence level. Open the robberies layer in your Lincoln ArcMap project. A visual inspection may not always indicate clustering, and programs like CrimeStat can assist in this determination. CrimeStat can also assign primary points to secondary points. Return to the CrimeStat Data Setup's Primary File sub-tab and clear the existing files. Click the Select Files button and browse to the Afternoon House Breaks database file. Set the X and Y coordinates and the coordinate system as projected feed. Select the Secondary File sub-tab and set the file as the school's database file. Set the X coordinate as centroid X and the Y coordinate as centroid Y. Select the Spatial Description tab and the Distance Analysis 1 subtab. Make sure any previously checked boxes are cleared, and then check the box for assigned primary points to secondary points. Click the Save Result to box and save the output file as a database file and name the file school count. Click Compute. Crime Stats output table is not the most helpful. Open ArcMap, add the school count database file, and open its attribute table. Here we can see the original data plus the new frequency field. This shows that McPhee Elementary School has the highest number of afternoon burglaries near to it. This is a utility routine and not an analytical one, and is designed to aggregate data for other routines such as Moran's I and Anselin's local Moran. That is how to do nearest neighbor analysis in Crime Stat 4. The parameters of your own analysis may vary depending on its objectives. Thank you for watching.